Okay, so now we'll take a look at the advanced control preferences. So edit and preferences, and this time the advanced control page. Now the settings on this page will enable you to use Reason as a standalone synthesizer. This means that it will be controlled by an external sequencer like Cubase or Sonar, and so the sequencer within Reason will no longer work, and all of the sound modules will be used as standalone sound modules. You can have four different inputs here on bus A, B, C and D. Those are the four inputs. And each input will have 16 MIDI channels. And we can see those 16 channels up here on the hardware interface. If you click on advanced MIDI device, you can see A, B, C, D are the four input buses. And so each bus will have its own 16 MIDI channels. And on these channels here, this is where you can select the, the sound module or the sound device that will be controlled. Now the MIDI clock sync, on this drop down menu here, this is where you can select the MIDI input device if you need to receive MIDI clock sync or if you want to slave reason to another sequencer or drum machine. OK, so that's it for the advanced control preferences. OK, so now the last preference to have a look at is the international preference and that's where you set the language. So we go to the international page and as you can see Reason has four different languages that you can select. So you simply select the language of your choice and then that will be displayed the next time you restart Reason. So you have to close it down and then restart it for the change to take effect. Okay, so that's it for the preference pages.